So I'm back and I got the necessary uh, redstone for the um, control circuits that we needed for this crusher. So I made the control circuits, we got the buckets back, they just need the lava. And now with this crusher we can crush up our diamonds into the dust that we needed to get on with the digital miner. Now, inform me if I need to decrease my mob sounds and stuff, because it might be a bit too loud. This one's really steep. And then we'll go back over here. So what do we need for the digital miner now? Well, let's have a look. What do we have so far? Well, we have pulverized tin. Not really much of what we need. So, First thing we need is another steel casing. Um, I thought. Oh no, we made that for the crushers. So, for the steel casing, we need some more steel. Oops. So we're gonna grab us the iron and coal. I think I might need more coal now. One, two, three, four. One. Let's get ourselves some charcoal. Do we have any? See, this is why I need the digital miner. No redstone, no coal. Like, how can you not have redstone? It's one of the hardest things not to have in Minecraft. Like, once you've got yourself iron. Jungle trees in the middle of a more mountainous fire. That totally makes sense. Thank you, Pam's Harvest Man. Now, if you have any tips on how to like really condense down these videos to like a decent size, um, or your thoughts on me making the videos about 15 minutes long in parts, uh, you can leave them down below. It's nice to see what you think. Um, can you literally just redstone furnace logs? Because yes, then I don't need logs to make charcoal to make more logs. That's very convenient. That will still count as carbon. So I want one, two, three, four. And I think we need one more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more of these is going in there. My inventory is full of stuff. Hmm. Now I might need to make more cables for the uh, things because I've only got six. I'm pretty sure that won't reach the whole way. Well, it might. I think I'll just have the thing outside my base, just around this area, so I can get everything around here. Now, I believe the digital miner makes uh, mines an area 64 on either side of it, and um, um, it takes up quite a bit of power, I believe. But these machines aren't really going to be hurting it since, like, they're all full. And the thing seems to be full. 19.95. These windmills just stopped, or is that just a visual glitch? Seems to be a visual glitch. And I'm pretty sure they haven't stopped because they're full of this green stuff. I think their colours are different depending also on the type. So the basic's green, and then I think the top one's purple, the ultimate one. And I believe one of them is yellow, and another one is red, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go make a steel casing. Let me do it the quick way, which is not shift clicking. Okay, so that's that first bit. Now we need some of these. So atomic alloys, first of all, how many do we need? We need one for each of these, then we need these two, and then we need one here. Okay, so that's that was five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So to make them, we need we need five of this obsidian, and then that means ten crushed up diamonds. That's over half my diamonds. 
going into a crusher. Now, if it makes two, I'll be happy, but I highly doubt that. Because there's probably a way of turning them back, and then that would just be doubling your diamonds. Yeah. That didn't happen. And I believe it's the enriched, so I need redstone and iron. I'll need one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, stop. Okay, I'm going to have to dump that carbon. Thank you. So, you just click this dump button to dump whatever's in here. One, two, three, four, five. Let me make sure it's that. And one, two, three, four, five. And this here. For some reason, they both say 19.95. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure these are meant to have sound effects. I don't hear them. Oh, I think they might have been disabled actually. For the uh for the people at home. <laughs> for the pe oh wow, I already have in oh. Well I'll probably need I'll definitely need more in the future. Um <coughs> Whoops. That was smart. That that was real smart. Hmm. Yeah. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> wow. That that was that was real smart. Okay, so then I need just these with the diamonds, so let me get my metallurgy confuser. How much do I need? Five? I'm really afraid to do that. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want to mess up with this diamond. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. Using diamonds to get diamonds, hopefully. Yeah. Reinforced alloy. I believe I need five of them. I hope I only need five of them. And then, for the dust, I need metallurgy confuser, five more, and five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And that should get me it. Hopefully. I really should have made some speed upgrades. <laughs> Why I make no speed upgrade? Why I be idiot? Just stick them in now. Oh well, that went fast. Stick that in. And then I'll make that. What else can I use this pulverized obsidian for? Obsidian rods in the redstone arsenal mod. Which, why there's two different recipes that are exactly the same, I don't know. But this mod is very good for making some very good tools. Molten obsidian, four of them in a combiner makes an obsidian. You actually need a cobblestone. So what you could do is you could literally pulverize it, mix it with cobblestone, and remake it for the exact same price. That's ridiculous. And then I can make the fine obsidian for obsidian ingots. And I can make some hardened glass, which is very useful later on. Okay, let's stick this in. And then it's just that. Yep, yeah, and that. So just stick them in. And then. Phew. I, hopefully it's only one. Please say it's only one. Please say it only takes one. Please, please, please. Whew. Ah. Okay, what else do we need? More of these energy tablets. So much stuff. I think I'll make the rest of the pieces off camera. So, just quickly show you the recipes. I'll need to get a bit more gold. Um, iron, piston, basic control circuit. Uh, quickly make these, and I think in future we'll make another robot as soon as we can afford them because they're amazing. And um, I'll be right back once I have made myself a digital miner. Quickly show you how it works and finish up there. Okay, so I'm back and I've set my digital miner up. I'm just going to stop it. And uh, so, oh, whoops, let me reset the config. I set it up to silk touch diamonds. No, not silk touch, just to mine diamonds. And I now have four diamonds that were in the area of this machine. So what I did was I went to config and I set in a filter. Now I believe you can just do or star 
that does all ores. So if I set that, it'll start. Yeah, that should start. that should start. Now I've set auto eject, and that should start mining up everything in the area. So I'm getting things up now. Is there an auto pull, auto eject, reset, silk touch? I don't really want to set silk touch up. But now I have set an automated mining system. Now look at the time. This has gone on quite a while, but I was hoping to go over a few more of the things, like some of the awesome tools. But I think that will make something nice for next episode so next episode i think we'll look into the jetpack the free runners and the atomic disassembler i'll show you what they can do and afterwards i think we'll get into a few other mods maybe we'll have a look at uh britannia because uh, i always have a few a few magic mods uh also i think i'll make an auto eject system of back to the smelting but i'll need to get some sort of item item movement set up uh, so, hope you enjoyed this episode, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye from Gumball.